Uh, with me today also is Deputy Director Sharon Torriano. I have uh, key division heads from my de department, um, Nick Herms from Employee Relations, Yan Sadayasu, Administrative Services, representing Health and Safety, Ryan Chong, Terry Spinola, Capital EO AA Coordinator, Gabriela Cabanas with our in our organization management division recruitment and examination, and Joni Nitahara in organization management, our classification and pay. Um, I'm going to turn this over to Sharon, who's going to give our presentation. Good morning, and for the record, I'm Sharon Toriano, Deputy Director for Human Resources. For the past several years, we have done our best to reduce expenses, and I would be remiss if I didn't take a moment to thank and applaud our, your human resources team. Thank you so much. All of them have had to do more with less. In response to unfunding three of our positions, we instituted a reorganization and we also implemented technological changes. Most notably was our web-based recruitment system. The budget before you total the budget before you totals one million seven hundred eighty four thousand two hundred eighty six dollars. Eighty one percent is for salaries and wages. The remaining 19% is for our operations. This budget as it currently stands presents grave concerns to our operations and we would like to just highlight the most serious of the concerns. You have just heard from Mr. Ao and we would like to mirror the concerns with aging equipment and the loss of efficiency. Mr. Al mentioned that Microsoft will no longer support Windows XP effective April 2014. He talked about the cost of avoidance and the negative ramifications to using XP. I mean, that concern you were talking about with cyber um, security. Imagine XP not putting in a patch to prevent a virus from coming into our, our system and then effectively shutting down all our computers. When he talked about the need for replacing a thousand computers, HR is just a piece of that. We are just a piece of that $425,000. Specifically, we have 22 computers, 15 which are between the ages of six and seven years old. And that's like well beyond the expected lifespan of the computer. Um, failure to replace these computers, again, is a grave concern for us. And for us, and when you think about 81% of salaries and wages, our jobs, and the tools we need to do our jobs, this is going to have direct and immediate impact on our operation. Another concern is for workers' compensation funding. Our current fiscal year budget was reduced by $500,000. It was $2.3 million last fiscal year as compared to $1.8 million in the current fiscal year. And our concern is that we adequately fund the workers' compensation as mandated by Statute 386. We are anticipating that the work comp expense will increase during the next fiscal year for the following reasons. The number of our open claims on the books continues to rise every year. Not a lot, but it continues to rise. When we accept liability for a claim, we accept it for the life of pretty much the individual. So even though you might settle what is a permanent injury, you still have ongoing medical expense. Um, you have ongoing prescription requirements, which to get a prescription, you need to go to a physician roughly three, four times a year. But these remain open, and we call them or refer to them as no potential to close. Also, our observation is that we are seeing an increase in the severity of illnesses and injuries that are, are occurring. This also serves to drive up your medical expense and your indemnity expense. And Val, I appreciate that you have the background in HR to know what I'm speaking to. <laughs> Consequently, 
We would like to restore $150,000 for a total budget of $1.95 million next fiscal year. And into this end, we will continue to work closely with the Finance Department. In addition, we are working closely with the Finance and our Corporation Council to establish in-house counsel for workers' compensation. Employer attorney fees have climbed to an all-time high, slightly more than $212,000 being spent last fiscal year, and $157,000 was spent in the year prior to that. So if you compare, it's a 26% increase over the last two years. To reduce and control our attorney expenses, we are asking for your support to establish an attorney position within the Corporation Council. Failure to provide that council would result in our request being increased to $300,000 as compared to the 150 that we're asking for. Thank you so very much for your time, your attention, your support. And I'll let Ron answer any questions that you should have. <laughs> uh, thank you uh, very much for your presentation. Uh, Council Member Ford. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm looking at the, your budget, your line items for the operations. Can you show me where the workman's comp is in here? I can't find it. Oh. And Mr. Sheeta, can I ask you to come forward? As for the workers' compensation is in the miscellaneous section ah, in the nine well, hundreds. Thank you. In the nine hundreds, huh? So it's it's not your budget for R and D. It's the budget in the miscellaneous section that you want to add the additional funds to. That's correct. Or miscellaneous. That's I mean, correct. for excuse me, workman's comp. Right. Um, so that's workman's comp G, as you're talking about. Oh, yes. I'm seeing Nancy nodding yes. Okay, so you're asking for 1.5, right? That's right. An increase of 150000 150. Okay. Mr. Ashita, I asked you to come up here because she said they want to add another corporation council, deputy corporation council for workman's comp. Can you comment on that, please? Sure. Um, Ms. Ford, I believe that we had previously um, advised the council um, earlier that that was a direction that our county was heading. A um, couple things uh, to refresh the council's recollection on that. Number one, with respect to funding, it's anticipated that that will be funded out of the current workers' compensation fund. The monies allocated um, to the Department of Human Resources for that amount. In other words, the fund pays for itself. It'll pay for its own attorney. So we're not seeking any additional appropriation of funds or money for that. Secondarily, the reason that it has to be created under Corporation Council is because of the Charter's requirement that all legal representation must be housed within our department. So um, even if that attorney will primarily be dedicated to doing just workers' compensation work, legally it has to be housed, um, albeit on paper, really, um, under our department. Thank you. Okay, so uh, don't leave because this I don't know the answer and somebody's going to have, one of you three is going to have it. How you know I know the answer? I don't know. Well, I got three <laughs> of you up there in case. Uh, workman's Comp G, that's going to be, a, she's asking for an additional one point, uh, $150,000 and that is to pay for this attorney. Is that correct? Uh, Sharon knows the answer to that. Okay. Because we are already spending $212,000, this amount would be offset if we brought it in-house. So okay. we are not looking for monies specifically to pay for attorney's fees. We're already spending that money. Where is the $210,000? Is that part of the $1.8 million under workers' comp Right, G? right. It comes okay. out of that account. Okay. So you don't need more money. The 150000 that I speak to is just our day-to-day -day medical indemnity and work comp claims management, if you will. Okay. It's not specifically for the attorney. Okay, it's claims management. Correct. Okay, that helps. Um, the next question I have regarding this is for, I think it's for Mr. Ashida. Um, this particular attorney, you said, is going to be paid for out of the workman's comp. Is it coming out of this particular line item rather than your personal budget? 
don't know, mean your personal yeah, budget. I, know I mean it, your yes. department budget. I know it doesn't come out of our office corporation council budget. Where it comes out from with respect to safety's budget or human resources, I don't know. That's that's a Sharon question. Okay. Hi, I would like to answer that. It would come out of that. 1.8. 1.8. Okay. Thank you. I yield. Any other questions? Wonderful. If they do um, have further questions later, um, I'm asking that they uh, contact your office. Yeah, give us a call. Okay. And you're pointing to him. It says. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your presentation. And thank you for your patience and waiting. Aloha. Thank you all. Mahalo. Thank you.